And there's three to move in. Plaster Carousel has the black coloured cap. There, Sestina with the white. And Zayrek and Mr Brightside are the remaining two to move in. Mr Brightside's drawn the outside barrier and is expected to sit back in the field here today. He's the last to move in for the Queen Elizabeth Stakes of 2024, five million in stakes, and we're ready to go. Via Sestina, the raging favourite. Racing now, and Pride of Jenny jumped brilliantly towards the inside. Pride of Jenny in front, Mr. Brightside being sent forward on the outside. And Plaster Carousel goes straight to third. Then came Zayrek, followed by Kovalik at Chaya Wolf. Now Buckaroo settles back in the field in front of the favourite Via Sestina and the nine-year-old Cascadians last of all. So Pride of Jenny, a long leader in the early part. About four or five lengths in front. Mr Brightside went forward from the outside and he's happy to sit in a long slipstream of Pride of Jenny. She's already off and gone at the 1,400 metres. She opens up by eight lengths. Mr Brightside wants to sit back and conserve his energy in second. Three lengths away, Plaster Carousel. Followed then by Zayrek. Further back to Kovalik. And then the lone three-year-old Chaya Wharf. Via Sestina, the short price favourite, is third last from Buckaroo. And Cascadian, impossibly his last day of racing, is last of all. Well, Pride of Jenny, we expected her to lead by a long way. But seriously, 30 lengths? This is unbelievable. Pride of Jenny with sustained speed going to the 800 metres. I've never seen a horse this far in front in a group one. Pride of Jenny, the best part of 25 lengths clear. Mr. Brightside Willow just wants to sit back for the time being, then Plaster Carousel the outside. Further back to Zarek Kovalika, followed by Chea Wolf via Sestina, Buckaroo and Cascadians last of all. She's still, this is unbelievable. Pride of Jenny, about 30 lengths in front in the Queen Elizabeth Stakes. She keeps going, coming up the rise. At the moment, Mr. Brightside is being challenged by Kovalika. And then came Buckaroo uh, via Sestina. She's winding up. She's getting to second. But Pride of Jenny at the 200. My goodness, 15 in front. Declan Bates goes for the whip. Riding a ride out. There's no need. This is a demolition job. Pride of Jenny and the Queen Elizabeth Stakes. My oh my, Via Sestina second, Mr Brightside third, Cascadian fourth, then Kovalika, Buckaroo, Plaster Carousel, Chaya Wolf and uh, Zayrek, the ride of the century, Declan Bates. My goodness, pride of Jenny. Sustained pace the entire race, running them ragged in the time of 2.02.02. She was just touched off in near record time at Flemington in the Australian Cup. We'll just see what the, how this time measures up. 2.02.02 is actually a fair way outside the record of Happy Clapper, established here in 2019. Pride of Jenny. Jump, lead, win. Well, she had two unplaced runs. Uh, not ridden that aggressively last year, but unplaced at both runs during the championships. She's paid 550, 165 today. Via Sestina, best of the rest, 105. Mr. Brightside, $2.60. The last 600 metres, they run home in 37.83. 37.83. She's broken their hearts, and uh, she did that in the first furlong of the race. They never, ever had a chance to breathe. It was just chase, chase, chase. Uh, they all wanted to sit back, uh, particularly Craig Williams there on Mr. Brightside. It wasn't even the plan to go forward. Uh, but he went forward and sat second, and it was a distant second, and uh, ultimately Via Sestina has got into the second end of the prize. Placing 7, 8, 1.